This past weekend, I actually got to see the Adams Family, the musical. <laughs> and while the musical itself was pretty fun and ooky, I am not actually going to talk about that. I would rather discuss some issues I have with theater goers and concert goers. It's almost like a, a list of do's and don'ts. You know, just a, a little reference guide. Put your listening ears on, and here we go. This might seem obvious, but don't wear hats. Like, seriously. Isn't it technically rude to be wearing a hat inside a building anyway? Just throw it out there. Also, along with this, skip the bouffant, okay? Don't do it if you're an audience member, please. Or just don't do it. Eh. The beehive was Amy Winehouse's signature. Just get your own. Most theaters and venues, they're pretty cramped. And sometimes, luckily, because I'm a grandma and care about this, there are seats. And when there are seats, usually the aisles are pretty tiny. Teeny tiny aisles that you have to wander through. And a lot of people are often already sitting. If you're one of these people that either has to leave to go to the bathroom or are late or something, I don't know. Yeah, whatever could happen. You're walking down the aisle. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wrong aisle. Not that aisle. But if you're walking down the aisle and people are already sitting, do say, excuse me, and I'm sorry when you accidentally knee someone in their shin. Don't just pretend like it didn't happen. We both know it happened. I'm gonna have a bruise for a month now. I'm like a delicate little peach flower. I'm assuming peaches have flowers. Most things that grow fruit are a flower first. Did you know that? I might have made that up. Fact checking. Not a thing I do. Another thing that I would really appreciate is if before an event, we don't bathe in perfume or cologne. Bathing itself is fine, please. If you know that you are a particularly stinky person, feel free to take an actual bath or shower beforehand. But the cologne and perfume baths are toxic. And I'm gonna have to sit next to you for the next three hours. So if you wouldn't mind not doing that, I will even I won't hug you. I will be the best seat neighbor you have ever had, if you can do this for me. Thank you. There's one caveat. Caveat. This last show, it was during intermission. We were sitting, kind of discussing, kind of just hanging out, and this elderly woman walks down our aisle. She doesn't actually sit in our aisle because I took a mental note of everyone that sat in our aisle. I do strict aisle associate screenings. Remember that. So this lady walks into our aisle, says, excuse me, oh, excuse me. And then there's a woman in the aisle behind us that she wants to talk to. So she's getting her attention and she's standing right in front of me and my mom. And she's going to stand there and actually talk to her for the next 10 minutes of the intermission. Except that the lovely lady behind us, thankfully, says, Oh, I'll go out of the aisle and we can talk out there. Thank you. As this woman in our aisle proceeds to exit, we get a horrific waft of what can only be described as oh the most rank and vile of all fish smells and oh that bathe in perfume just you know spray your skirt or pants just nice little localized or just remain seated no wafting of your essence to those around you please you have no idea how much I appreciate that. As I mentioned previously, most venues are trying to fit a lot of people in there. It's just there's not a lot of room for anybody. A nice consideration is to not take up more space than necessary. If it's like a standing venue, don't bring that <coughs> backpack to your bag. Leave it at home. What the hell do you need a backpack for? You're wearing pants. Put your wallet in your pants pocket. Done. Don't need a backpack. Another point of interest. If you know that you or a loved one is affected by small bladder syndrome, please refrain from drinking anything prior to the performance or bring depends. Options, high five. Do, and I think this is actually the only positive point I've had this entire time, but do bring mints and do use them. While lots of venues don't allow you to use any sort of recording device, be it a camera or a phone, some places do or people just sneak it. I would just like to throw out there that video recordings and pictures 
seldom ever look good. Ever! There's always way too much crowd sound drowning out the band. The band is like all <laughs> on the phone because it's so loud just in general. And the picture quality generally sucks. I mean, maybe the iPhone's a little bit better. I don't know. I haven't gone over to the dark side. That's right, dark side. This bitch is a Jedi and I have the force. Except that I can't make people stop doing this. Holding it up like this is super fucking distracting and you're not gonna get quality results. You're just not. Another thing, calling people and holding up your phone so that they can listen? That sucks. You can't hear shit. And you're just like, what is going on? It's not worth it. And you people, movies and shows like musical type play Broadway shows, all the like. Keep your cell phone away. No one needs you to text them that badly. I saw a middle-aged woman doing this at the last performance twice. If your kid can't find the Pop-Tarts, they're not gonna starve for the next two hours. Like, they will be fine. If someone's in the hospital, maybe you shouldn't be there. Nothing is that important. The light is very distracting, and it's very hard to give you the evil eye when you are not looking sideways down the row that you are in. I'm glad we had this talk. I made that one. It's so nice. See, I do it for you, you do it for me. Rub my back, I rub your back. Don't touch my back.